up guys today I'm gonna bring you another electric scooter I'm gonna test the Uno scooter it's uh, designed in Germany so here in Germany they have actually a lot of Uno scooters driving around the city particularly here in Berlin and today we're gonna test it out I'm on my way you're gonna be a guy there waiting for me to show me all the, all the features how the scooter works and then I'm gonna test drive it and show you guys how it is keep tuned so guys I'm already here with the scooter and uh, I'm gonna show you now how it looks like This is the Uno scooter, this one has a really nice color as far you can see the Uno logo here these are the blinking the light brakes you have the analog display here the horns, two, one in each side here to blink left, right and the light one mirror and here it stays the battery so I'm gonna show you now so we just turn it on lights you can see lights the light so now if I blink to the left see the blinking this one to stop just press it okay to the right side the same story to stop it and press it here to open this one it's just like in the new it's the same thing just turn it all the way to the left and it's open here is the battery so you can turn this disconnect this one and then you can take the battery home to charge it it's very easy here is space for the second battery or if you don't have the second battery you can put some stuff here to close it just like this and that's it so that's the rear side you can see the brakes here the license plate you have a suspension there the driving as far as comparison with the new it's very similar I don't know there's too much difference the main difference is in the design of the new coin compared to this one the design of the new much more modern to say that the Uno don't have an app as the new app, the new app the app where you can see if somebody touch your scooter, you can see always where your scooter is with the GPS that have inside and all that good stuff. This one is pretty simple, classic and don't have any app, not yet. That's it, so the one battery will during approximately 50 kilometers. That's the range. If you have two batteries, 100 kilometers. And yeah, goes up to 45 kilometers per hour. That's the maximum speed.
this is the wheels. This wheels can be ready in any conditions, any weather. It's fine. As you can see, today in Berlin is raining. But when I was driving, it's still pretty safe. I felt pretty safe and that's pretty good. The motor is a Bosch motor. Just like in the new, it's the same. It works pretty much the same. That's why the feeling when we are riding is the same. The only difference from the N1S to this one with the battery. The battery from the new stays here. But the battery from the Uno, it's here. So guys, now we are ready to do our test drive. I'm gonna just jump into it and do it. Uh, I forgot to set some things. For example, the battery. The battery is uh, from Samsung and not from Panasonic like in the new. Uh, and this uh, Uno scooter is cheaper than the new. Just uh, starts 1.7k, so 1700 euros here in Germany. So it's pretty more almost 1000 euros cheaper than the new. But it's just the basic model, and what that means is just one kilowatt uh, power, the motor power from Bosch. So it's very, very low, and with this uh, power, you cannot even carry a passenger because you will be told that there's not enough, pass in enough power to carry two passengers. So you, don't, you have to upgrade to the 2 kilowatts, that is the standard uh, motor size, to uh, carry two passengers and be good without any struggle. And you also have the 3 kilowatts, that is the power. power one of the three models that you can carry a passer and have much more fun with that but this one the most powerful it costs you uh, 2700 euros so pretty much the same price as the new N1S
range is a bit limited, but if you just want to go to work or doing your day-to-day -day life, it's more than enough for that. With the range up to 100 kilometers, in just one charge, it's really more than enough.
that's the rear side you can see the brakes here the license plate you have a suspension there that's the wheels these wheels can be riding in any conditions any weather it's fine as you can see today in Berlin is raining it's the same it works pretty much the same, that's why the feeling when we are riding is the same. The only difference from the N1S. For me the biggest advantage of having a scooter is that you can park everywhere. You don't have to charge for parking like a car. Sometimes you are 5-10 minutes looking for a parking spot and you find one. But it's very uh, far that from the area that we are going. So. With a scooter it's just go, you go here to the sidewalks everywhere and you can just leave it there, just like a normal bike, right? So that's a very, very, very big advantage that I really like about scooters. And when they are electric, like Luna or Neo, it's even better. You are not spending any fuel, any cost on fuel. The only thing you spend is electricity. And for what they say, both new and Uno, they have in their website, you spend in average uh, 80 cents per 100 kilometers so in electric electricity. So I think this is very, very cheap to ride and get you anywhere you want. Of course, inside the city, you cannot go in the highway with this one because this go 45 kilometers per hour is made for the city but it's pretty, pretty good for your day-to-day -day life going to work, going to gym, visit some friends do everything you want in the city and don't have to worry about uh, parking don't have to worry about fuel it's a big, big advantage and I really consider uh, this option for the next month I just have to decide which one I gonna take it, if Neo or Uno. In this moment are more inclined to Neo because the modern design and the app those are the two big points that I consider Neo over Uno. So I gonna let you guys know when I make my mind and I decide to buy one. For now that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you. scooter I just wanted to give you some a conclusion about that so the scooter is pretty nice to drive uh, pretty much the same feeling as the new 1s scooter the same motor and everything just uh, some details that are different and uh, now a bit comparison with the new I think the new in details it's uh, more uh, complete and better in that point for example the new have a app this one don't have any app and just the fact that the new have a app it's a bit ad uh, a big advantage for them uh, also they have a digital display the Uno just have this analog this simple classic but for some of you, I know that you love classic scooters and this one looks like a Vespa so for some of you this one could be actually better than the new the new is like a more a modern uh, style, design much more modern I, in personal preference, I prefer the design of the new uh, but yeah, in terms of driving, it's pretty much the same, the same fun, 
just also uh, this uh, Uno scooter don't, doesn't have the modes like uh, in the new that you have the mode one, two, three, so you can go from slow to faster. And here you just have uh, the throttle and you just go. You don't uh, select any modes. That's a good uh, feature that I actually like as well in new and maybe they could implement it here but they didn't it's not a big deal but it's good to have and that's uh, pretty much it guys I hope you enjoyed the this short test drive 